And I'm telling somebody here today, in spite of what you're going through, in spite of what the job ain't doing, because they're doing their work, and you better make sure you're doing yours. Come on, somebody. In spite of the way people are treating you, in spite of the way this, that, and the other going on, you better learn how to hold on to your integrity. You better say, though we slay me, yes, shall I trust him. If I had to come to church in a wheelchair, you better roll me in the house of God, because I'm going to still kill him in the house of God. The Bible said in the 42nd chapter, 10th verse of Job, the Bible said, and he turned the captivity of Job. See, so God want to turn some things in your life, but he waiting on you to he waiting on you to make some decisions you need to make. See, that's why some things won't get turned because you, you got the enemy eating with you. Ooh, come on, somebody. You got Satan sitting at the dinner table. You don't even know it. You ain't know you were mad. Oh, come on, somebody. You want to get deep today. You didn't know that you was connected to Satan on that type of level. You didn't know that Satan was going to give you kids and then turn it back on you because a real test that came in the picture. It's sad when you got Satan to, to, to help birth your kids into it. Then all of a sudden they sit at the table. And it don't necessarily have to be the wife. It could be your son. Playing games between the, 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 the mom and the dad. Jumping on the dad's side, then jumping on the mom's side. Now you're causing a feud and a dispute in the house. And kids will do that. They'll try to manipulate and, and play games and do this and do that. And now all of a sudden you're turning the, the mother on the father, the father on the mother. Now, now the house is divided. Now Satan will use, come on somebody, Satan will use people close to you. Satan don't care if you wear a collar, three-piece suit, or no suit at all. Satan don't care if you live in Heathrow, Metro West, Pine Hill, or stay on the side of the road under a bridge. Satan don't care if you 13, 30, 38, 39, 45, 85, 89, 90, or 100 if you get there. Satan don't care if you drive a Cadillac or a school bus. Satan don't care if you got rollerblades or, or Stacey Allen. Satan don't care about none of that stuff. And by looking at Job's resume, you would have thought he would have respected it. Yeah. Because we read it, the Bible says, and he eschewed evil. That's, right. That's enough right there to leave a man alone. Yeah. But yet, still, he thought because he, he was going to hold on to his integrity, he thought just because he had all his possession, he was serving God. And sometimes Satan proves so many people that say they're born again a believer right. Because some of them leave the gospel, they leave this and they leave that because the car gone, because the cattle got repossessed, because of the six bedroom home with a 3,000 square foot, they done lost that, but now they said, child, church ain't working, I've been praying and praying, I lost my house, and I, see, they talking just like Satan, because they ain't want to take the test. Oh, come on, somebody. And a lot of people don't want to take the test anymore, so when they start losing stuff, the stuff stop falling off and falling by the wayside and stuff start busting out the seams and stuff start degrading itself. Now everybody want to just quit church. You don't quit the bank when they mess up your bank account. You fuss. You, yeah, some of us still cuss. You fuss and you cuss and you be on the phone and y'all won't get it straight and all that other stuff. I done done it too before. And we get on the phone and we fuss a little bit and make a lot of noise and, and then they straighten it out and straighten it out. But yet yeah, still we bang with the same people. We go to the same grocery stores. We eat at the same restaurants that mess our food up and we be right back there. But child, let somebody hurt you in the church. We quit. Child, I ain't going back to die there for what? But we got to learn to hold on to our integrity in spite of it. And I'm going to bow to As Job went through his test and trial, we're going to take the Bible, take it, take the Bible, take the Bible. As Job went through his test and trials, the Bible said he did one thing. He held on to his integrity. And in spite of it, he said, don't he slay me. Yet, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, yeah, I complained a little bit, but now... I can see. Yeah. Though he slay me, yeah. yet yeah. shall I trust him. Yeah. Yes, I got a problem and I got an issue. Ain't none of us under this roof ain't got something we struggle with. Oh, come on. Yeah. I don't think real deep. Yeah. Oh, we all got something. I don't care if it's pork chops. I don't care if it's ham. I don't care if it's a cigarette. Come on, somebody. Lust at heart. Jealousy. Envy. Backbiting. We all got something we struggling with. We all got something that we still seeking God for. That we still got on the inside of us. That we still need to be delivered from. I come by here with certain notice on it. To the day when you, to the day you die, you're going to be having something that you're going to be getting delivered from. I don't care if you just eat too much pork or drinking too much soda. Or gossiping too much. Or gossiping too much. To the day you die, you're going to be getting delivered. That's why we got to repent every day. Why do you think you're repenting for? Because it's your 
thoughts. It could be this. It could be that. You ain't got to be in the motel. You can just be thinking about the motel. But Job, in my closing, Job held on to his integrity. And a lot of people are not holding on to their integrity anymore. And a lot of people get away from the truth, as the book of James will say, tell you. A lot of people get away from the truth, and their minds is being sealed with a hot iron. So they don't want the truth no more. Everything they want, they want sugar on it. They want it to be sweet and coated. And they, don't want, they don't want to hear about sin. And they don't want to hear about this anymore. So everything is about three ways to a breakthrough. But I come out and say, ain't going to be no breakthrough until you line your life up with the word of God. I don't care what you say. The fuck come on somebody. We got to respect the word. The Bible says you should seek him with your whole heart. And the Bible says you should hearken diligent to the voice of the Lord that blessings could come upon you and will take you. God ain't going to bless the man. He ain't never learning how to cook dope and, and they ain't doing this in the room and you ain't talking about you intercede for the children. You better intercede for your own kid. Yes. And so many households is messed up and, and so much stuff is going on in the house and, and going on in the neighborhood and, and we, too, we have too much busy body going on, but we kind of learn how to just address issues that's at hand, even if it's in our own home. Yeah. You got to say, daughter, you don't need five boyfriends and a sugar daddy. Son, you, you don't have to stand on the corner, son. You just too much to you. So we got to start learning back, start telling the kids what they is instead of what they ain't. You ain't nothing but just like your dad. Okay, yeah, he may got a daddy way, but let's tell him, you ain't nothing but an architect. You ain't nothing but a next judge. You ain't nothing but a good attorney. You ain't nothing but a good president. You ain't nothing but a good pastor. You ain't nothing but a good this. Why we can't say that? in trouble, we tell them everything they ain't. You just like your auntie. I can't stand up to this day. And you don't realize what you're doing to the child. And the child don't necessarily have to be 17. They could be 70. And their whole life, they did nothing with it because they listened to all the stuff that they wasn't. And they had somebody attached to their life like Job. And it was sad that it was his wife. That's why I encourage every woman that's single is not single Strive to be that virtuous woman because you don't know what the enemy is against these Amen. men of God. And not just men of God, just men, period. Amen. And they, Satan is trying to tear their minds apart. Yeah. That's why you got more lesbian now than you've ever seen in your whole entire life. Amen. Young and old. Yeah. They got more rights almost than heterosexuals. It's so sad. Why? Because Satan is trying to tear the fabrication of marriage. He's trying to drive a wedge between the marriages. And so now everybody just leaning to the left and leaning to the right, but nobody don't want to come together the way they should. Amen. And it's a sad case. Let us stand. Amen. I don't preach long enough. Amen. I don't preach long enough. Amen.